What up, what up, what up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod, back at it again, episode 122. 22. We're just rolling through them again. We're rolling through them again, guys. Good. I'm glad you knocked that off there because you need to stop fucking with the mic, bro. (laughs) I'm so glad that happened to you. (laughs) Fuck. (coughs) Yeah, we're rolling back. Coming straight through it again. Um, It's a prop, too. It's dead. Oh, nice. Got to show off the sh- the tea, huh? We got to show off the, the new. This uh, is fire. Kingdom Hearts. I appreciate that shit. Dude. That shit's fire. Thanks. Shout out Tone. Shout out all my uh, all my homies like Kingdom Hearts, dude. What do you call them? What are they called? Are they they're like Kingdom Heart Kingdom Hearters? Uh oh, they 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 are called something because I follow a page on Facebook. Really? I, don't, I don't know what it's called. Heart Squad or something. Heart Squad. No, that's that's something else. And I got the. 21 days of prime. 21 days of coach prime. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and I was telling, it was fun. Well, we had our, our wrestling banquet this weekend. And um, I was telling all the kids, I was like, next year you guys are going to be calling me Coach Prime. Coach Prime. I'm going to have a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get an iced out <laughs> little uh, whistle. Oh, my God. I want an iced chain? out. Yeah. Fuck. On a chain, bro. That'd be fire. And then just every, I'm like, you guys are have to call me Coach Prime if I show up with the ice. <laughs> You have to. Have to. What was that? They got you. I thought they got you a cute little whistle thing. Oh, right? dude, they got the coolest little whistle for me. One uh, coaches are forever. Mate- Mateo, he's one of. He was a first year kid, but I'm like his favorite coach. He got only he did it or was it he, a team thing? No, it was just he. He got it. Damn. Yeah, he got it for me. Um, but it says a great coach is hard to find and impossible to forget. Oh my god! I'm I almost right fucking now. cried, dude. <laughs> it was. I was like that. Is awesome. That is awesome. I can't wait to use it to make him run next season. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it actually works. Yeah. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Um, is that gonna be one of your, is that one of your callings? You think for your coach? I don't know, bro. After the season, cool. it was a blast. Yeah. Like I had a good time. So I possibly. High schools. That's that's cool. I coached. Uh, I coached <laughs> basketball. I hey, remember you telling. I coached me. eighth grade, ba- sixth, seventh, and eighth grade basketball at Queen of Heaven. And then I would get off school from Pius and go over there and coach. You're like, uh, did you want to do it, or were you like, were you like, was it like for a class? Or no, I, um, my old coach from eighth heart? grade was like, hey, you should come do this with me. I was the assistant coach. Was that out of the kindness out of your heart? I think I got paid. I don't think I got paid. Did you get paid? No, I didn't get paid. I think I was supposed to get like a. Well, I think coaches only get like a thousand bucks for the whole, like high school varsity basketball coaches. I only think. Get like two grand at the end of the season. Really? I thought they get more than that. But you you can't you have to have another job, or usually they're teachers, right? I think they have to be teachers. Okay. I think you I have to be a teacher in APS to be a coach. Oh. At least at the varsity level. Well, APS makes sense, but yeah, I think I could be wrong. Pius was different because he wasn't. I don't think he he was a. I don't know. He was like not a mechanic, but he had another office job. But. Yeah, I think I I was supposed to get like two hundred bucks at the end of the season, then didn't. Oh. But yeah, I, I was kind of thinking he was like I remember him saying like, "This could be your thing. This is your call. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it could be really good." <laughs> I dude, I had a good time. It was fun. Good. Yeah. So hopefully, if I have kids one day, I could coach them. I can get all my bad coaching out now. Yeah, it's good. I think being on a team is important for any human. Oh, being. thousand percent. And listening to authority, or not even authority, but just like. Yeah, listen. Yeah, discipline. To, yeah, discipline. Working all that hard. Stuff. Yep, it's it's very Thousand, important. It's very and important. On the other side, it's important for you. Yeah, it is kind of like practice for your kids on how to treat, how to be. How to just be a normal, them. like a good human. Yeah, all around. Are you gonna spank your kids? Oh yeah, I, not like smoke not them like though, right? not like, like spank their ass. Yeah, if they get in trouble. Right? Well, I don't know, bro, because <laughs> my dad never spanked me, but he gave me a fucking. To the forehead? Oh, really? oh yeah, dude. Just one of these oh, dude. straight to the forehead. And that man's and fucking flick. With, oh, like bro, that fucking... thing <laughs> yeah. convulsed. That guy, dude, like, It'll so I don't back, know. I, I say that, but I probably won't, like, I'll, just, like, unless they have to. Like, my dad, I could count on one hand the amount of times he ever hit me in my whole life. I don't remember. Maybe it was, like, I blanked it out. I don't remember. I think I for sure got spanked, either from my mom or dad. I yeah. remember getting... I, uh, I remember my little brother, I rem- my mom or dad holding him up by one hand, dude. And he was like screaming around, and he was just spanking the ass oh, yeah. in the air. They need it. They do need it. You need it. <laughs> you can't, and the kid can't call it, but now they can just call the cops on you. 
fuck it, dude. Call, call him. Call him. Uh, yeah. Call him. Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> call them. Your word against yeah. mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I dare you to call him. He would do that. He would do the flick, or he would just grab your ear. Ooh, that's a crazy one, too. Oh, dude. Dude, he would just yank your ear. <laughs> I remember he grabbed my brother's ear, and he, like, tried to, like, get away. Oh. And, like, at the same time, and just, ksh, and he's, like, ripped it. And Tone's, Tone's ear, like, <laughs> uh, popped. He's, like, I thought I gave him cauliflower. Oh. Yeah, and it was just, bro, his ear was just Swat. red. Just r- bloodshot red. It was so bad. <laughs> that's pretty m- mild, though. Just the flick in the ear, that's not. It's not. That's, abu- it's not child abuse. That's fine. Yeah. Man. At least we're not getting smoked by our dad. Yeah, my dad used to be like, he was like, yeah, grandpa would make me go out and uh, find a stick. Yeah. Find like a stick and smack my go ass Go pick with one. It. Yeah, go pick one. Or in Goodwill Hunting, what is it? Or he it's would like always tell you uh, chocolate or vanilla ice cream. Like, so yeah, he's going to smack your ass so it's <laughs> black. <laughs> oh, which flavor you want. Yeah, which flavor you want. <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Remember in Goodwill Hunting, he's like, like my dad used to give me three options, like the ranch or the belts. He's like, "What'd you pick?" He's like, "The ranch." He's like, "Why?" He's like, "Because fuck him." That's what. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smack you with that. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to her dads for not shout out using the ranch. Shout out our parents yeah. for sure. I I remember. I don't remember if it was my mom or dad. I remember getting mouth soap in the mouth. Oh, soap in the mouth is a crazy movie. I don't remember what my, I said. Though. I think my my mom <laughs> did it to me one time. You gonna fucking use bad words? Yeah, you're gonna say fuck <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, wait till you're 28 and say the f word every fucking six seconds on April Fool's. Yeah, pop. exactly. <laughs> Shout out our Get parents. Out. Shout out our parents, dude. Shout out discipline. But it's like my dad really never cussed, but when he was around his boys, uh, oh, really? f bombs were flying, See, baby. I, don't remember. I do remember that. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Cause I, they were flying. I, yeah, they yeah. were. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out my dad. <laughs> See, I don't remember. I think I was. Le- I don't think. I think I learned it in school. Bad words. I remember hearing the word pussy for the first time. Oh yeah. My dad's like, yeah. This kid was picking on me. He's like, he's like pussy. So I was like, damn, dad. Oh yeah. It's like so. Stop crying. My dad has some good stories. He was <laughs> like, uh, I guess there was some guy um, like bullying him in the, and like something happened, and he would like kick him in the ass. Like, hard. My dad was, like, second grade. This dude was, like, fourth or fifth grade. Fucking with him. Yeah, fucking with him when he'd get off the, the bus. Ugh. And my dad, I guess, ran home, like, crying. And my grandpa was there. And he was, like, he's, like, why are you crying? He's, like, so-and-so kicked me in the ass when I got off the the bus the bus today. And he's, like, he's like you come home crying again, he's, like, I'll give you a reason I'll, to cry. I'll really yeah, I'll ass. give you a real reason to cry. <laughs> he's, like, so you you figure it out. So I guess the next day he gets off the bus. That guy kicks him in the ass, oh. and he's like walking. And my dad's like, "Yeah." He's like, "So I f- grabbed a rock, fuck him in the face." <laughs> yeah. Oh my Smoked god! Smoked him with the rock, ran home, and yeah. um, that guy, the kid, and that guy's dad showed up to m- to my grandpa's to, and yeah. he was like, um, "Whatever, Charles uh, hit so and so with a rock today." He's like, yeah. He's like, well, that. He's like, your son's been kicking him in the ass, and I told him to bring him down to his level. And he's like, and if you want some, you, you can get some. Get the fuck off my, 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 my yeah, dude. Just so old school. Yes, that is yeah. old school. And if you want some, you yeah. can get your ass kicked too. Like, so pissed, yeah. bro. I'll kick you. My dad could kick your dad's ass. Yeah, that's fine. Literally, I think that's what you have to do, though. Yeah, because I also. Bullies, fuck bullies. I know. I, I kind of got bullied, dude. There's this one kid. We would do the Pledge of Allegiance, and they would call me a fan. They would go like this. During the Pledge of Allegiance, dude. Really? They wouldn't even say it. They would just. And you just knew it was about you? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Did you ever fight them? No, I, no, it was kind of real. I think we went over to their house, and the, my pa- the, my parents had a talk, and we just, like, chilled in the backyard. And Became made, made up, yeah. <laughs> He's a lawyer now, though, so. <laughs> I think you if, if your kid's getting bullied I think you have to say like well then hit him in the face. Yes. Like I'll I will not you will not get in trouble if you hit somebody in the face. My dad has always told me that. getting bullied, right? Yeah, my dad's always told me that. anybody messes with your brother anything yeah. he's like you have my whole like you could hit them and you don't stop until someone takes you off. <laughs> I'm like all right. Yeah, I think that's how you that, 
That's how you deal with bullies. Yeah, for sure. Um, how was the weekend though, bro? Weekend show. I worked all weekend. It was really. It was a good week at work. Good weekend at work. Money wise. Fuck Sunday night, dude. I had to kick this regular out. I'm not gonna go into details because I don't wanna get sued. By also, it was crazy. regulars trip me out. Mm -hmm. That trips me out at any establishment. Yeah. Just being there every every day, day spending money. Yep. And eat it, like what it could be drinks, food, whatever. But it's like you're there every single day. And some of them they tip really well. Some of them are cool, but some of them, God, I hate listening to them. Some of them are just. I don't know. I'm, I, who's going to watch this at work? Anybody? No, I don't care. Yeah. But it's like, there's an issue there if you're... if you're Every day? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? Literally having like six drinks every day. That's crazy. You have problems. 60, 70 bucks. And and some of them just like expect like the, like the best, like think that they're entitled to like the best service or like they're really impatient because like, oh, I'm here all the time. I'm like... I'll make money without, with or without your b fucking business. Yeah. No, I, the regulars always trip me out. I'm like, I don't know. what it's, the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. How much money are you spending mm -hmm. at this place? Think about it. 60 bucks. Well, some are, it's only like 20 bucks a day. But some people that just rip it, 60 bucks a day, every day. Every day. Yeah. That's so mesa. Insane. I'll bleep that out. Insane. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't be, like, we have our favorite spots. I mean, like maybe Brickyard was kind of a, but we weren't. But we weren't there, there every, day. every day. It was just like our, when we yeah, we were there go, like Friday like, nights, yeah, or whatever. You know Thursday, what I'm saying? Like Thursday, Friday, like Saturday. whatever it was. Yeah. But it wasn't like we were there every single day. It is regulars at a bar. I don't know. I think that's a crazy move. It is ten percent. Uh, it's for sure simp. Simp for sure. Because I don't know. It was kind of pimp if they like tip of fifty percent. Like if I want to make four, because we do have one regular. He's pretty cool. We play chess. But he's he's like an older guy. But he just has like three beers, and he'll he'll tip like thirty bucks. That's like that's cool. Yeah, and he speaks he doesn't speak that much well of English. So, but but also some people like probably that guy. He probably doesn't have family here, so no. it's like either go home alone. Yeah. Or yeah, go hang out. It's, we've had to kick out some some regulars before too. Like they just come in, they don't tip, they just spend a bunch of money. I'm like, dude. Go buy a six pack for twelve dollars and drink it at home, instead of spending seventy dollars here. Yeah, I don't know. Makes sense. Yeah. So Sunday was Sunday night was pretty stressful. I don't know. My weekend was pretty chill. Yeah. Had uh, oh, oh we, we went, went to, to Hibachi. Hibachi. Hibachi one. Hibachi one. Did it you was like fire. it? I did. That's I like it. The first time you had the, the Hibachi there? No, I've had oh, it there yeah, before. Yeah, but it, it's been a while. It was good. It was good. You have the filet mignon oh. and scallops. Fire. <laughs> It was really good. Had a really good sushi roll before. Oh yeah, that roll was good. That roll was good. It was good. It was, I I fuck with hibachi all. Me around. too. We gotta go do that oh, hibachi truck. There's a hibachi truck in town. We're gonna yeah. go hit it. We have to hit it. It's probably just the same thing, but but quicker. Maybe. I, 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 I mean, we could get steak, shrimp, noodles, rice. Yeah. And fucking. Oh, we should see if they have. Like, have you seen the the shit on like TikTok where they make them burritos? Hibachi. God damn burrito, it. That sounds dude. so good. Just everything in the burrito. Yeah. All, well, oh. I want to eat it all. I want to taste uh, all of it at once anyways. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I should have did. I should have just burrito well, macked it, bro. Out of big burrito. burrito macked my, my leftovers. I've never owned the the big burritos to do that. I, I always the carb chopper tortillas, and they're like they're not that big. So I think that's why they're less carbs. No, but there's there is some. That, that are big? That are big. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, okay. You okay. have to get them at like Albertsons or Smith's. I'll show you which ones they are. Okay. Burrito, burrito, burrito Mac. Mac. <laughs> burrito Mac uses them, bro. You know how I learned, dude, that <laughs> I did some fat shit. I realized some fat shit, dude. My uh, my roommate's girlfriend, um, Eileen, uh -huh. she brought over, she moved in with us, and she bought like a bunch of like silverware and like an entertainment set and stuff. And our regular forks, our regular sized forks were dirty. And then they had a, uh, Forks she bought are just like smaller. Like the fork is just smaller. Like yeah, like fifty percent smaller. So I was like, all right, whatever. And I was like eating leftover. Uh, I was eating the hibachi, and I was like, I couldn't. I was like, I couldn't get as big of a bite as I want. So I was like, this is. I'm like, I. What's wrong with me that I'm mad at this fork because I can't eat as much more, as I want right yeah. now. I can't shovel more food down my fucking face <laughs> because the fork is too small. I, I was getting it up like this, like 
like scooping, scooping it, in. it in. Yeah, dude. Oh. Dude, have you seen? Oh. Uh, it's like a TikTok trend. Um, of there's there's girls they're trying to keep up with their boyfriend's eating pace. Oh yeah, and they're sitting there just fucking Stopping struggling. They're like. <laughs> He, he's like taking another bite because I'm I'm like the boy, I eat like that too like uh-huh. where I'm like fries oh, take dude. a bite drink some drinks yes. like they're like what's and I keep seeing like comments it's like why are you drinking while you're chewing wallet yeah, yeah. <laughs> like because I want all the flavors yeah, I at want once. all the flavors at once <laughs> like let me, yeah exactly well, even like a diet coke like with like a, a McDonald's fries and. That's hot spicy oh, and a yeah. diet coke to just literally to just wash it down. Wash it down. It's so, so good. fucking good, bro. They don't understand it. Oh, I love. But I was laughing. I was like, okay, so all men eat like that. And they, one of the comments I think was like, uh, it was like, um, oh yeah, we have to eat that fast so that you don't ask for a bite of ours. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that is true. Yeah, we have to eat it before. So you don't want to try. So you don't want to try it. Oh no, dude. I I probably eat faster than you. I feel like. I think you do. You eat a lot more than me for sure. We were talking about um, like opening day for football for hot dogs, and I was like, "You're like, how much could you eat?" I was like, "I could eat, I could probably eat five hot dogs in like two minutes." Do you think you could do that nine 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 challenge, where it's nine hot dogs, nine beers? Oh no! In nine innings? No. At a baseball game? No. No. I could do the hot. Oh fuck! Hot dogs hurt my stomach too, dude. After one. Like I no. No? No, no, I don't. Not, I couldn't. Not with the beer. Not with the beer. I probably couldn't drink nine beers at a baseball game. Yeah. No, that'd be hard. I would have to start shotgunning them. Oh, dude, you for sure yak after, after, after the day. Oh yeah, for a thousand percent. No, I couldn't do it. I'll probably I could do three and three. That's a normal. And that's kind of pushing it. I think that's a, like a basic one. Really? Yeah. When's the last time you went to it's a like baseball three game? hours? It's like a three-hour game. Do you like the topes? Yeah. Who doesn't like the topes? I love baseball. I know. Period. When's the last time you went to the Dodger game? It's been a while. I didn't. I don't think I went to a topes game all last season, which I'm sad about actually. But season started, so gonna have to what about catch the, a game. Uh, mm. The uh, Havana Havana bananas are coming. Oh yeah, that would be cool. But tickets are three hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. What is it? What is what is the story of them? So they made up like their own. Um, it's like baseball entertainment. They're basically like the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball. So they just party on there, or what? Yeah, they do like, like dance and shit. Yeah, they do like dances and like they're like walk like it's all. And then if you if you hit like a foul ball and you catch it in the in like the crowd, it's an out on the field. Oh really? There's yeah. different rules. So there's, they made different rules too. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, and they don't play – like, they play a full game, but they play – I think it's, like, per I think it's inning. A, I think it's a two-hour time limit on each game. Yeah, and it's, like, per, each game? per inning is, like, the how they play it. Like, like oh, you won that inning. It's, like, whoever scores the most runs in an inning gets a point. Yeah. And then oh, whoever has the most points, points the after so many innings wins the game. Gotcha. That's kind of cool. Yeah. No, hey. it's pretty cool, and it's, like, a huge thing now. They have a guy on stilts who hits sometimes. <laughs> So they're just like going on tour. Yeah, literally, bro. <laughs> but who do they play? Do they play? Like I guess there's another. They created a, a second team that goes with them and play. They, they play, play each other. Yeah. Uh, but they they do the same thing the other team. Exactly. Damn. Okay. But but what is the l- skill level of these guys? These guys are like guys who can't make it in the league or like, but, like really good al- college players. Yeah. Oh. Really good college players who like didn't make it. Damn, they're probably making bank, huh? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Three hundred dollars a ticket? No, dude. The tickets like, were expensive. So they're like better than the isotopes, like skill wise. Are they that same? Well, that's because they're all resale, probably because they did a raffle for the first round of tickets, and then oh, people the probably won the raffle and are just selling them for. Oh, you're right. You're right. Guap. Yeah. I bet they were like seventy bucks when they came out. Like, what's the team worth? The Savannah Bananas are the most viral sensation in sports today. They have more than 5 million followers on social media. Their games have been featured on ESPN, and they make about $200,000 during each home game throughout the season. So that's as a team, I think. Okay, not each. Yeah, but still. Still, yeah. Yeah. 10K a game? No, they probably make more. Yeah, they're recruited and and get paid for their play. I'm sure they get paid decent to. Yeah. 
control. And probably they have sponsorships and all yeah, that stuff too. Exactly. <clears throat> the uh, like, what is, do the isotopes? Uh, is that their full time job? Yes. It is. Yeah, because they're professionals. They got drafted to like I think the isotopes are the Rockies oh, farm team. Okay. So they got drafted for the Rockies, but they're playing for the isotopes until they get called up to the Rockies. Gotcha. So they get paid though. They get paid. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Yes. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool, man. I'll go to a Topes game with you. I'm down. Let's do it. There's one tonight. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Well, that actually would be a good li- like little video. To yeah. Try. We should do that. I, c- I know I can't do it. <laughs> Let's split it. Let's try to do it together. <laughs> together? We yeah. can just cheat, huh? Let's cheat every, <laughs> every, every, every challenge. Every we challenge. can't do it alone. <laughs> we have to. That's still four and a half. That's still a lot. <laughs> yeah. Four and a half hot dogs each. Yeah. Four and a half beers. We should do that. Speaking of challenges, we need you guys to go like episode 120 right now. Right now. And all like this one while you're at it. But all like th- episode 120. <laughs> all 30 of you guys uh, getting this far throughout the video. Dude. You guys go are li- killing us. Go like episode 120 so we can do the Waffle House challenge. That would be a good video, dude. We need to do another food review. Let's go re- review the hibachi place. Okay. I'm in. Okay. That sounds good. Do you think we can just do it on our phones or do we need? No, we could. We'll have production. Fuck. We'll have production roll with us. All right, all right, all right. Um, you got some questions today? I got a couple. Couple. Um, what about the total eclipse yesterday? Is that what happened yesterday? Dude, I don't know. The world is gonna end, but shout out us. We made it through another apocalypse. <laughs> they said that the world was. I kept seeing TikToks like the world's gonna end. Like today or yesterday? Yeah. Uh, they say they're. Don't they say this every time? Like we're not going to see a solar eclipse like this for another three hundred years, and it's like every other year we see one of those. I guess this one is like a this one hasn't happened since the seventies or the sixties, and uh, the it last just, time it did, it went through like all fucking cities in Salem or seven cities in Salem, and this one is going through seven cities in hell. I don't know. Something crazy. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know what was happening. I didn't care. Yeah, I was. I didn't look. When what, what time was it yesterday? It was like from eleven to one or something. A.M. P.M. P.M. A.M. P.M. Yeah. A.M. and P.M. So eleven a.m. in the morning. Yes. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Damn. But apparently, like we weren't in like a good spot where like it went dark. There was like oh. I guess it was like through like the middle of the country that it went like super dark. Gotcha. Yeah. Reminds me of Dune, dude. I saw Dune 2 again on uh, it's Friday. Friday Fire. I'm not going to see it again. I'll see it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. I might just have to wait till it gets. It's good. Watch it at home. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, Three Body Problem on Netflix. Oh, my brother was Holy telling me about fuck. it. Holy fuck. So I, I told him I will watch it as soon as I'm done with The Sopranos. Good. I, I was waiting till I finished Better Call Saul. Put a ribbon on that. It was very good. I was waiting till I was done that to watch it. I have five episodes left of The Sopranos. Oh, you'll be you'll be good by by Wednesday. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be <laughs> yeah, Sopranos time. is awesome. Sopranos, bro. Fuck. Okay, so that or Sons of Anarchy. Ooh, watch Sons. Okay. Sons is really fucking good. Okay, okay. okay watch yeah. Sons and then put. I'll, but Sopranos has to be on the list. Okay, next. I'll put it on the list. Three Body Problem, bro, is like. Uh, oh, dude, it's you cannot be on your phone. When you need to watch it. It's like Tone said it was fucking crazy. It's like crazy. Squid Game with with uh like Interstellar with Arrival with Koreans. Is it is it dubbed? No. No. So, no, the, the, it's in English. But then mo- some of it takes place in China, Chinese not Koreans. Some place takes in China where it's subtitled but it has English subtitles. It's it's good. I'm I don't know what the fuck's going on yet. But it gets good, so put oh, that on the list. Okay, that's on my list. I'll do that. It's next. like executive. Pro- it's the executive producers like Brad Pitt and um, Rosamund Pike. There's like some heavy hitters that that produced it, so it's, it's really good. That's crazy. Let's put that on the list. Um, also, shout out the eclipse. Though. Total uh, <laughs> eclipse, pin per simp. What was that? What you did? I did do that. Um, I mean, simp. Simp. Be- because I don't care, but that's just me being biased. Like and I, if I wasn't on, I just wasn't on social media that much this weekend, so I didn't even know that it was happening. I think I'm. Uh, the pictures are cool. I mean, I think I'm gonna say pimp, just for all of the, uh, 
stories behind it. All the conspiracies. All the conspiracies. All, all the bullshit. All the bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to go pimp on it. Oh, there's so – I bet there's crazy Oh, ones dude. About. I'll find some. I'll find some. They're like, yeah, this total eclipse, you guys better have two weeks' worth of food. It was fucking Y2K is what pretty much what they were saying. The, the – The people are just waiting for that shit. Anything – Yeah, the internet's waiting. gonna go down, <laughs> and it's gonna be a madhouse. I, Watch Leave the World Behind, dude. That's what happens. 2012? 2012. What is, uh, what's coming up? 2024? Yeah, there's, I don't know. I'm down for any conspiracy. I'll believe it. Yeah, shout out the Mayans. Almost, they tried to kill us. The Y2K, the 2000, tried uh, to kill us. What, other, what else? COVID tried there? to kill us. The, oh, two th- uh, June 6th, 2006. Six six. Oh that tried to kill us. Damn. You just hear a lot of stuff about that. Yeah. Ugh. Fucking internet, man. It stresses me out, dude. Um but yeah, what do we uh, do? What, what, 50, how do we how it do we was fix it? Dude? Fifty fifty. <laughs> really? Straight up fifty? Yeah, straight up fifty fifty. Yeah. Uh, eclipse. What do you guys say back there? What are you guys thinking? Do you guys like the eclipse? Fuck your god. You're saying what? <laughs> like, I don't Speak with your I god voice. Pimp. 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 Damn, 50-50, huh? Who said the same? Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's cool. I also just don't believe in space anymore, so I think it was all it's all for show. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you don't believe in space? I don't, I don't You're I don't, a flat earther now, huh? I don't think that it's real. <laughs> You're full on flat earth now. I, think, I lost him. I think it was a projection, dude. They I lost by him. the government. I lost him. <laughs> <coughs> we could fly. They're right. sending stuff to space. The uh, the screen capture wasn't working earlier, but I found some but uh, Savannah bananas footage. If you guys want to see it, oh yeah, yeah let's let for it sure. <laughs> oh, the umpire like dances. And oh, they, shit. they get shirtless, dude. Oh, I bet that's fun. They're doing TikTok <laughs> dances. <laughs> This is a live TikTok dude the baseball. There was one Damn, I saw the umpire. I saw the umpire just do <laughs> like a backflip. The dress? Yeah. Oh yeah. See, I see I, I get the allure. Oh, just the kids pulling chicks. Dude. Just walking out. So are they they're trying to go to the league? No, I don't think they've made it to the league. They're probably just, but they're still very good baseball players. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. Shout out to Savannah Bananas. Shout out to Savannah Bananas. We should try to go if we, we should. can find tickets. If one of you guys want to give us some tickets, yeah, we'll go. We'll make a video. Make a video. We'll shout you out. I would be down to go to the Topo Zoo to do that. Um. All right, bro. I got a great question. I didn't even look. Such a good question. I got it from Bussin' with the Boys. Oh, God. All right. Would you rather try to survive two hours in a gladiator-style ring with 20 Stephen Hawkins, <laughs> but his chairs go 30 miles an hour? Oh, my God. <laughs> or 10 Helen Kellers with pistols? Oh, my God. Fuck. The Stephen – going that fast on that thing is scary as But fuck, I think dude. if you could, like – like you coordinate where they all come at you at once, and you just make a good jump. And they smack and each they other. And they smack each other, and then you just start knocking them out. Damn. You just start putting them to sleep, dude. You'd have to get them to run into each other. And th- or knock over a chair. Yeah. But going, because <clears throat> yeah, if, if they're next, they can only also, hurt you if they if they hit you at thirty miles. Eventually, an hour. these Helen Kellers are gonna take themselves out. <laughs> you just gotta stay. Fuck out. no, they're, that's true. They're gonna take. They're, so they're gonna like bump into <laughs> each other and just start bucking, like. So Helen Keller, I also think is a th- conspiracy. I don't think that she w- was even real. She was deaf and blind, right? I know, but that's. She can't hear. She can't see. And, and she just. Has how did she write a book then? Is that her and Frank wrote a book? Or did they both? Write? I don't know. Uh, Why Fra- is she famous? Was it Helen Keller in the in the Holocaust, or is that Elf? No, that's, that's Anne, Anne Frank. Frank. That was Anne Frank. So Helen Keller was just like a. It was just like crazy that she was able to do what she was able to do. I don't know. She was a woman who was deaf and blind. She uh, yeah. learned how to 
uh, read and write Braille and stuff like that uh, and communicate, even though she was both deaf and blind. Gotcha. Uh, Anthony Jeselnik says a good joke to Theo. He's like, he's like, I always thought this like about like let's say you're a blind person, you learn how to read Braille. He's like, but how does that help you in the world? Like, how do you find the Braille? Yeah. Like maybe like an ATM, I guess. But how the fuck do you get? Or they have them on like the bathrooms, like. Yeah, but like you still can't drive to the ATM or drive to the bathroom. You have to have somebody take you there, and they could just like. Hey, it's right here. Yeah, like. I'll just to take out the money for you instead of watching you fucking read it. Um, I, I'll take. Th- oh, I don't know. The guns would be scary though, because I could. F- I think those have more chance of just. Yeah, it's a game. Of like, chance. where do they start? If they just start in a line, it's just and like a, you in front it's of them. A gladiator ring, bro. They don't know where they're shooting. But if you come out one, if you just come out like one door and all thirty of them come out and they line up, you have to. I think guns would be harder to escape. I think if you, it's only ten of them though. Oh, it's ten. Ten. It's only do, 10. What do you get? Do you get... You don't get anything. If I could get a gun with the gun... No, that's blindies, cheating. or if I get a, th- a fast-as-fuck scooter as well with the Stephen Hawking... You can't start making up your own rules. So no... no, I get nothing? You get nothing. Fuck. <laughs> God. Give me some one thing. You get nothing. You get your sunglasses. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> you get sunglasses and a vape. Yeah, and a vape. <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, okay, I'm going. I think I'm going Stephen Hawking's. I'm too scared of guns. The Stephen Hawking's would have to. F- I don't get anything. No. Because if you. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be hard to dodge. What do you want? I'm not a good dodger. You can't I, have a gun. I want too. like a bow and arrow or something or a slingshot. A slingshot. <laughs> a slingshot. I'll give you a slingshot. Give me, some, yeah. <laughs> give me, give me some steam. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll go. I'm going Stephen Hawking on this one. I'm locking it in. He's I'm just too scared of too, too scared of guns. Okay, I, I those th- could wreck you without even. I think they're gonna they're gonna bump into each other and take out half. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that means and I then have you could to, hop on one of theirs. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have about. I'm just gonna have to deal with about five. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll pull his fucking ass out of no, one. And oh, those it. those there's twenty of those. Fuck. Yeah. So I think I'm going uh, Helen Keller. Because I'm, I'm guaranteeing they're gonna take each other out. But they just one straight bullet, dude, catches you in your breath. That's very true. Even if they're just like, it, how much is in a pistol? Like twelve? Yeah, nine. So that's nine shots times. There's ninety bullets that are flying out there. Yeah, for two hours. And you're gonna ditch, You're gonna dodge all of them for two hours. I'm gonna find a spot, a very safe spot. I could chill <laughs> just gonna be like and let them <laughs> fuck around for, for an hour. <clears throat> and the last hour, I'm just going to go around like fucking a ninja, dude, and just. Fuck, Helen Keller, they can't hear you. They can't. They can't do anything. They fuck. can't hear me unless I bump into one of them. <laughs> That's the only way I'm getting shot. You could sneak up behind one and smack them and take their gun. Because one of them might just do like a. Yeah, just a clear, empty it and out. Just em- like, like a, a full spin. And just try to empty it. Uh, and that would take out. Yeah, because, all right, these Helen Kellers, if they win, they come out, they're going to, they could have, their, they'll be able to hear and see. So they're really trying to kill you. What do you mean? They can't hear and yeah, see. Yeah, if they win this. Oh, if they win. So they have high. St- they probably also have other powers. Like what? They could smell me? Oh, like feeling the ground like an avatar. Like oh, they can feel the yeah. waves. They can, they can hear your, the movement. But they wouldn't know which they could. I don't know. The other si- uh, senses must might be heightened. I, I'm you convince me. I'm going Helen Keller. Yeah, I think I think Helen Keller's move thirty miles an hour is fast. That's scary as fuck, and they can see where they're going. Because they might just even just two of them go at me at once, and they could. I can't dodge both. Because he's a pretty smart guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty smart. Ten of him, twenty of him, twenty of him. No, I'm going Helen Keller because I, fr- I, I was like, I can't sneak around. They can't hear or see. I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Okay, they have a pistol, but I, dude, would, I, I'm thinking I could at least jump on them and just fucking <laughs> hard scar. Yeah, dude, hard scar. Or just put smack one seat. hard and take their gun, and then you clean the other ones out. You can't take their guns, bro. You can't. I don't know. You probably can. What do I win from this? Million dollars. Okay, I'll t- Helen Keller. Yeah, and they and they gain their two senses back. <laughs> and yeah, and they get their senses back. <laughs> Damn, it's all or nothing, dude. But yeah, I think I could take some out. Hard scarves. 
Hard scarves, yeah. Th th those would be easier to handle. I, I do understand the ricochet bullet thing. Yeah. Or just a loose bullet, dude. Yeah. Oh. I understand that. I'm I understand scared. the dangers in that. That's so scary. But I think... If they all just empty them out, all, all ten of them. There's ten There's of them. There's ten of them. If they, it'd be hard to... And they just... It'd be hard to... It'd be hard for not for ninety of those bullets to not hit you. Okay, then then they don't have any bullets. All right. Then I'm just taking them out I'm at that point. Yeah. <laughs> then they're <laughs> done. <laughs> That's the craziest question I've ever heard that I think has ever been asked. Boys, what are you guys thinking back there? Uh, I guess I would probably go with the Helen Kellers. Cause how they. Uh, yeah, I just a gun I is just useless for them. It. I just convinced him. Yeah, you me. did. You convinced me. Fifty nine percent of you guys said Stephen Hawking. Fifty seven. Fifty nine. Good, 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 good. Yeah, fifty nine percent said Stephen Hawking. This is the craziest question I've ever heard. Yep, that's fair. I agree, dude. Um, damn. They they can't do anything with a gun. They can't do shit through the gun. They're just firing them. Yeah, they yeah, they're gonna shoot the fuck themselves. That's what I'm thinking. They're All gonna right. take each other out. Um, I'm, um, um, let's lock it in with that. I'm locking it in. Hal and Keller. I'm taking ten of them out. <sighs> what else we got, dude? What's going on in life? They can't even talk to each other. Like, oh, I can hear them. <laughs> well, maybe they. <laughs> 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 maybe they got. Maybe they can speak to each other. Tell like that's the kind of telepathically. Sense. You're fucking out of your mind. You, I bet you get you get something. You, you get, don't. You just you just pulled the bad cards in life, bro. That's exactly what it was. It's not. You pulled the worst card yeah. I ever fucking seen. Yeah, in you the pulled deck. a bad <laughs> card in the deck, and that's what you you stuck with. You don't get a fucking superpower with it. Oh, dude, you have, like Daredevil, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like Emmett Smith, dude, my little wiener dog. He was he he was blind, and he not his whole life. He was Daredevil. He wasn't blind his whole life. Neither was Daredevil, though. True. Th I think that would be worse. I think I would just want to come out blind. Yeah, that would suck. Out the suck. gate? Or I, that would suck just one day just blind. No, I'd want to I'd wanted at least know some things. I want to be blind at like, like, at like, fuck. Like at like 12. That would suck. Yeah. It sucks all around. It would suck all around. But I guess it, I, I mean, is it the same for like people who like, have peanut allergies. Like, they're never able to eat, like, peanut butter. They'll never know. So you just don't know. Did you know that wasn't even a thing uh, until recently? Peanut butter, al peanut allergies? Like, when our p parents were kids, like, p people didn't have, weren't allergic to peanuts. Really? Yeah, it's the vax. It's the vax. Vaccines. Um, really? Like, any type of, well, yeah, well, all this shit, like gluten, all this bullshit. All the intolerances now. How old do you think George, and autism, too. How old do you think George Washington was? When they signed the Declaration of Independence? Ooh. 35. It's actually a great guess because. <laughs> you, I, I think people would want to say like 50. Yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, I think he's 35. Also, was he bald? Why did he have that wig? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm looking this up. First George that comes up is George Floyd, George Strait, George Michael, George Clooney, and then George Washington. <laughs> he was 44. Ah, uh, interesting. But I was looking at, I saw a video, and a lot of those people were like in their 20s. Really? Yeah. It's a little sketchy. What's her name? Uh, the one that made the fucking flag? You know, the lady who like... Betsy Ross. Marie Betsy Angela. Ross. She was 18. Really? Yeah. She made it? Like, made the design? Yeah. The f that was the first uh, graphic design, dude. Yeah. The American flag. Yeah. She probably didn't even get paid. Damn, no, she didn't. No, for sure. They no, she couldn't even vote or anything. No, yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't give a anything. shit. <laughs> give me my tea. <laughs> bring, my tea. <laughs> bring my fucking. Bring me my tea. My shoes. And make sure that flag is done by fucking 1776. <laughs> Do you wish that you knew more about history? I do. I wish I knew, though. I wish I had hard uh, fucking facts. Like, I wish I was able to, like, be there. I don't. Well, I wish I could w 
like watch, watch a it. video of what it was like. Yeah, like a fly on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just see what the fuck is really going on. Because my grandpa is a historian. He was before he my mom's dad, and he knows like a lot like about New Mexico history. He knows like everything. See, that's cool. But I want to be there. Like you could tell me it. Like that's yeah. Cool. It's not gonna hit as it much. It doesn't hit unless you're in like. True. You know what I'm saying? Like I would be down to like go to like wherever Philadelphia. And like go to like the fucking museums and shit. Oh, see, like I was wondering tour. why you said Philadelphia, and see, I barely remembered that that's worth thirteen colonies, th- bro. Thirteen colonies, yep. fuck. I just history is written by the winners, so how do we know if it's true? Conspiracies, baby. <laughs> Conspiracies. Well, maybe not. No, I don't know. I just wish I knew more. You know, about no, the world. I feel that. I, I I used to think like I don't care about history or so like because no I love I've always loved history really always like even in high school like I hated social I was studies, like bro. fuck if I have to be they're like what do you want to be when you grow up I was like I did want to be a teacher for a little bit we could be teachers like, I could be a fucking history teacher <laughs> yeah look at this fucking guy. yeah look at this fucking guy. we did fucking <laughs> Pearl Harbor today you guys want to watch Pearl Harbor yeah yeah you guys want to watch Black Hawk watch Down three hundred <laughs> fucking history who Troy. Well, we're going to watch that from, for the next four days. Yeah, exactly. That's literally, bro, my high school teacher, granted, he was our head coach for football. Oh, always. But he uh, he was our fucking <laughs> history teacher, bro. And literally, it was like, all right, we're watching fucking 300 today. Take notes. Yeah, there'll be a quiz on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And that's what we did. Or, yeah. History? Apocalypto. We watched an Apocalypto. Oh, my God. Dude. In high school? Yeah. That's the one with the like the, the scary Indians, right? Yep. I don't think I've seen it. You've never watched it's a scary movie. They don't even it? speak English. Really? They don't say one word. It's like Kunta Quinte and shit. Dude. Or is that some that's some good That might have been a little racist, but it's all right. It's all right. That's all right. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I don't know, dude. Hist- all right. How old were the founding fathers? How old do you think Thomas Jefferson was? 31. 33. Ooh. Alexander Hamilton? Older than that. A 35. 21. 21? Yep. Can you do some? Really? Oh, Abe Lincoln. Is he on there? How old do you think Benjamin Franklin was? Benjamin. Uh, wh- when? Oh, is he on there? Yeah. He's the light bulb guy? 70. Oh, yeah. He was old. He was old, bro. That's old for them t- that back then. Yeah. That's old now. That's really old now. Fingers crossed, Daddy. Uh, Einstein. He was not there. Einstein was around the A bomb. Oppenheimer? How old was he in that? He had to be pretty old by then. So these guys were just making up shit for the rest of the world, for the rest of America. Yeah. At twenty one. At twenty one. Like what? Are the, how did the, How does the twenty one year old get along with a thirty five year old who signed this thing? They probably been adults for like. Since they were 13. Yeah, I was just going to say 13, 14. Back then, you know? Yeah. Like, how do you get across, you know? 13 yeah. colonies. Or like Lewis and Clark, you know those guys are? Isn't it with the... Pocahontas? Yeah, with Pocahontas. What did they do? They just met her and then she showed them around America? Yeah, it's like... This to is California. Like There's a mountain. No, it's a Sacagawea. Sacagawea. That's Louisiana Purchase in the like or- beginning of the Oregon Trail. Okay. See, like stuff like this, I wish I just knew. Mark is one of the smartest guys we know. Yes, he is. Shut up, Mark. He always has some little fact, though. But how do we know that that's what happened? Because it's in history. But because that's it was not written. Good enough because it was written. Because <laughs> <laughs> we wrote. Cause because somebody we, wrote it. Because somebody fucking wrote it down. But who survived? I want to know who's writing the history. Exactly. Now. Oh. Oh, dude, the history books now in 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 fucking schools. They're going to have I remember, COVID. And well, I remember tr- when Donald Trump became president. I remember when That's like when I was little, I'm like, oh, this is going to be in the history books. Like fucking 9-11. Yeah. It, That's that probably is. in the history books now. For sure. That was 15, 13 years ago. It was not 13 years ago. It yeah, was. It was fucking 20 23 years ago. Oh. Yeah, 23 years ago. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess I don't like history or math. <laughs> Dude, yeah, there's kids alive that were born after 9-11 that can yeah, go, that can go out and crazy. drink. I that work could with drink. them. That could drink booze. Yes. I work with all of them at work. 
That's crazy as fuck. That's definitely in the books now. Or even COVID, bro. Even even the world shutting down, that's going to be a fucking, like, what? Everything just shut down for an entire year? The last 20 years is fucking insane. Crazy, dude. (laughs) The next 20 years is going to be way fucking worse, bro. Also, I would take another fucking global shutdown. Yeah, just I wasn't mad at it the first time. I wasn't mad at it. I mean, I was, I wasn't mad at it. I'm just more mad. I don't know. I was. It was weird. It wasn't that bad. We're all place. fucking weird now and fucked up. You guys are weird. I'm fucking the same <laughs> guy. Fine. I wasn't mad at it. I guess. Every Fool's Pod came out of the fucking COVID. It did actually. Oh, if we do another global we shutdown, so no, people are gonna have nothing to do but to watch our asses. Yeah. There's 122 episodes. Go Think about that, dude. Them. In history books, they're gonna do 9/11, fucking. We go to war with the Middle yeah. East. War with the Middle East for fucking who know what twenty years. A billionaire TV show host becomes the president of the United States. Yeah. Global sh- pandemic. What the fuck? History is crazy. And they're, they're gonna fucking lie about it in the history books too. See, <laughs> they are. Hey. They'd be like Fauci. Maybe you write your own. All right. <laughs> Write your own. Your own po- See if we're pretty much writing it. our own. See, yeah, we are. See if we can read. It. Yeah, we have written a fucking twenty, twenty-two hour long the script on. We could write a book without all the words we've said on here. Oh yeah, Just twenty-two AI chapters. It. With AI. AI. <laughs> Use AI. Give them every all the videos and Tom just to create a fucking book. Every episode's a chapter. We're 22 chapters down, dude. 122. You math is not mathing today. <laughs> All right, let me really wreck you then. Since you're already <laughs> no. fucked up. No, I'm already fucked up, dude. Okay, I need you to pull up Urban Dictionary on your phone. Oh, God. And um, so I'm going to give you some some words. You have to have a rendition on your Okay, I got it right here. And then I guess what it is. Yeah. Just do like top. I already did. Oh, so you have a list of. Wor- of I have work? a list of them. Okay. Do you have what they are? Um, No. So I have to look them up. Or just send me the list. Ooh, the first one that comes up is Tamagotchi effect. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ooh, this is a good one. I am not. I probably am not going to tell you this. That one's crazy. <laughs> Why? That one's fucking Oh, nuts. we have to do it There's then. Scar. Like, this one's Scar. We'll scar you. Uh, the Hungry Wait, Unicorn. Why? Look up Hungry what Unicorn. The fuck was it? <laughs> look, up hungry, no. look up Hungry Unicorn. Do it. This one's fucking crazy. If you guys have ever messed with the Urban Dictionary. So I'm not going to guess. We're just going to go through it. Just go through it. Okay. Take a wild guess. So and what's crazier than this? The one before was going to scar me? Look it up. Hungry unicorn is. <laughs> a hungry unicorn is a gay sex position where one male puts a strap on dildo on his head. That sticks it up the other male's ass. Okay. All right. While lick- I think we're done with that one. <laughs> Dude. It just says- Use it in a sentence. I gave Andy a hungry unicorn last night. <laughs> Insane. Like a dirty Sanchez. It's like a frosty walrus. Frosty well. Okay, look up uh, flip flocks. What do you think that could be before you look it up? Flip flocks? Yeah, and actually, th- I have it right here. Where you put your feet on a pair of breasts and wear them like sandals. <laughs> uh, flip flops and socks wasn't scary enough. There's actually a name for it, so it's called flip flops. Flip flocks. Yeah. Oh, that was an easy one. Damn yeah. it. I could have gotten it. Um, crotch spiders. <laughs> the heinous combination <laughs> of flip flops. <laughs> What do you think crotch spiders are? Crabs. Um, though a horrifying name in itself, this particular definition refers to hairs creeping from your bikini region. Ooh, yep. 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 Crotch spiders. Oh, yes. You should just have them pull it up and I won't look. Yeah. Okay, next one. Old slippers. <laughs> that one's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you think it is before you guess? Okay, old before s- they pull it up. Old slippers is um, athlete's foot. No. Oh, genitals of past significant other that after consideration and comparison are the ones you love the most. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend said she, all right, damn. Turkey tap. Turkey tap? Yeah. 
Oh, that's my, my ball sack on your yeah. face. Tea no, bag. no, no, that's not a tea bag. It's when you. Uh, oh, when you smacked the yeah. smack the gobbler, dude. Smack the gobbler, bro. <laughs> Nutsack. Fuck that. People who do that, I fucking Dude, I hate them. I fucking hate you. Any person who does don't that. Don't hit me in the nuts. Don't also don't bean dip me. Because I will punch oh, you in I, the fucking mouth. I, I've hit people in the fucking mouth, bro, for <laughs> bean dipping me. I don't I'll, fuck I'll with that. Strike a I'll strike a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> I hate both of those things. If you're that guy, I hate you. The magic stick. It just says magic stick. Uh either a plunger or it is a wiener. Hard wean. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the most elite of men. The most elite of men. This one popped up. Look up Tamagotchi effect. Tamagotchi effect. And this is about what's going to happen, dude, in the future. Watch. Yes. <laughs> Don't conspiracy. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't T A M A G O T C H I. Both of us know water bottles today. Oh, I don't know where mine is, dude. I need a new one. I, don't know where mine went. I lost two bottles already. It also, could, I couldn't find anything under that. I typed yeah, it. Yeah, it's fake, bro. No, it says, Tamagotchi effect is the term one uses when a person develops a strong emotional attachment towards a machine or ro- a robot. Oh, that's crazy. It's going to happen, dude. Um, Sword fighting. I'm sure you know what that one is. Oh, uh, when you piss with your boys? No. When you, uh, two men fight with one another with their erect penises. Pen- penis? Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh it. Um, baking cookies. Uh, what? Why can't it just mean something? <laughs> what Why it can't means? it just not mean just <laughs> 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 to have sex? Why is that that? To bone. Why can't it just be? I was baking cookies. Yeah. Why can't that just mean that? Traff fuck. Traff fuck. That's that roadhead. It, it just means being stuck in traffic in a, in, a, in a traffic jam. Me every day. Yep. On the way here. What it is. Also, sorry, mom. I'm fuck. So sorry. <laughs> she just doesn't need to be hearing this sh- kind of shit. <laughs> Those are the top ten. Oh, let's do more. Urban dictionaries. We, we want to wrap it up? Uh, we got five minutes left. Let's do one more. No, I want, one on you? I want bad ones. That first one was way too crazy. For me. <laughs> I got uncomfortable. Crazy one. No, what, let me read the first one that you did. That was it. Oh, the gay unicorn yeah. one? Yeah. No, that was the one crazy. That one. was the crazy one. I, that one was fucking crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Why are they all like dildos? Because you got an urban dictionary. It. The one dirty slap. What is that? The Nigerian definition is a slap that brings a person back to his or her senses. It's like a rusty trombone. <laughs> yeah, What's a rusty that. trombone? No. Look it up. No. What is it? I know what it is. What is it? I've always heard it. <laughs> it's all right, bro. You want me to say this? Yeah, what does it say? Well, let me read it first. This is the dark arts of the world. <laughs> oh, Okay. Look it up on your own time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we want to get into I'm that. Not saying this. We're pretty uh and people who R-rated. do this kind of shit are going to fucking hell. Dude. You need to go straight to hell. Rusty trombone's a wild move, huh? Yeah. No. Or what's the other one? Are you taking a Rip dump? Job. Oh no, uh Cleveland Blumpkin. Steamer. Oh Blumpkin? God. There was a ki- dude, there was a kid at school. His name was Mark Lampkin. Shout out my boy Mark Lampkin. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> but they, but Jerry used to call him Mark, Mark Blumpkin, Blumpkin, dude. <laughs> dude, you have to. You can't give your kids a fucked up name. Well, last name's hard. It's his last name because you can't change it. Yeah, they try to ease it out with just Mark. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just don't tell him. You can't give your kids a name to that they can be made fun of going back to bullying because. That's the easiest thing to get roasted by is your name. Your name's an easy one. Ugh. Yeah. It was always an easy target. Gaylord Fokker. Yeah. Or just like, yeah, just imagine your last, like, back in the day, your last name just Gay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like Rudy yeah, Gay. that's so easy. Rudy Gay, he's a basketball player. <laughs> it's just a and l- I was like, I'll never buy that jersey. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. I knew oh. somebody whose last name uh, in high school was Fucks. <laughs> F-U-C-H-S. <laughs> or some people pronounce it Fuchs. <laughs> but, like... 
I was just going to say. I would tell. He was like, it's rather like we, we made a man the other day named, that was legally named Fuck. It was, yeah. It was the PH, but still crazy to see on an ID. Crazy to see. Bro, That I had that same situation. I took me back to, to, to Superbad when I was working at the bank. Oh, yeah. They're literally. A husband and wife. Husband and wife. Fuck. P-H-U-C and bitch. <laughs> P-I-C-H. <laughs> and I was like, there's no fucking way. I need ID. I need identification. I need fucking identification because this is not real. And then I met another guy. His name was Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross. His name, a big, he was just a white man. <laughs> and then there was another one. Fucking Golden Eagle. Golden Eagle. Oh, he was First native. name Golden, last name Eagle. Native for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Drunk. He would come <laughs> in ever. shit-faced every time. Oh, dude, every single time. What are you guys thinking? Fucking bitches. It's crazy. way worse now. Oh, it's... There's people oh, yeah. giving... Like... <laughs> I, saw a, I saw a TikTok, and there was like, yeah, this girl was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a teacher... And she's like, one of the kids I had, his name was Mike King. <laughs> and I had to call him that. His first name? His first name was Mike, Mike King. King. <laughs> and she's like, and then I met uh, I met his sisters, my blessing, and my angel. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I'm like, you fuck those kids. You fuck them. I'm not calling you. I'm not calling I, you that. Your friends are definitely making fun of you. I'm not calling you that. Oh, whose little angel are you? Yeah. Fuck that. Anyways, that's today's episode. F A G, dude. <laughs> that's today's episode. Cancel us if you want, please. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, episode comment below. Go to episode twenty. Like episode one twenty. One twenty. One twenty. One hundred and twenty. Twenty two. I don't know. Actually, there all, might be something 20, good on twenty. Twenty two. Probably 20, some good shit in there. Twenty two also. But uh, yeah, that's today's episode. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let us know what you think about this week. We are five weeks strong right now, so. Gang, baby. Gang, play the music. Five? Five, six. Five, six. What did he do?